Hello, Chief Skaters. Welcome back to, well, my desk, not my working kitchen. It's the first of the month and I am updating the meal plan for the fridge. So I thought I'd bring you along as I do it. Now, Chief Skaters Club members can log in and go to the meal plan archive and they will find not only my current meal plan for August 2023, but a whole bunch of others all the way back to 2006. That's 17 and a half years of monthly meal plans. That's a lot of food, a lot of dinners. I forget how long I've been sharing how to feed a family on a cheapskates budget. And if you're not a member of the Cheapskates Club yet, what are you waiting for? Because August is the time to join. August is our birthday month. I can hardly believe I've been doing this for 22 years. 22 years. So to celebrate, all new Cheapskates Club memberships are $20 for the month of August. So let's get back to this meal plan and get it onto the whiteboard before some random family member wanders in and asks, you know, if we're actually going to be eating during August. Because I have to tell you, meal planning is easy. Truly it is. I break it down so that we, we do have repeats every week and you'll see them. And it starts with Sunday. So let me just flip you down so you can actually see what we're going to do on the meal plan because I do it every month. I have to say having this meal plan on the fridge really has been a lifesaver. Okay, I break it down so that we have repeats every week, like I said, starting with Sunday. It's always a roast of some kind. So, I actually really enjoy roasts because they're an easy, cheap, yes, they are cheap and lovable, likeable, delicious meal. I know the price of meat is going up, but a roast is always, always more than just one meal. Usually two or three, sometimes four plus stock. So that helps to bring the cost per meal down. Now, I'm just saying that because if you think a roast is too expensive, compare the cost per meal to steak or sausages or chicken fillets or, or a spag bowl or whatever, so you get the idea, and see just how it compares. Okay, now on to the whiteboard and under Sunday, I'm going to list all our roasts, starting with down here for the six, because I'm just going to do them. Um, and it is lamb. So we'll do, which means the next one is going to be chicken because I alternate between um, for August, it'll be lamb, chicken, beef, chicken. There we go. And already at least four dinners have been done. How easy was that? Now, go back and start on Tuesdays because it's always pasta. Let's just work through and tonight we're having chicken pesto pasta. It is delicious. So good. And I'm just going to, oops, I've lost my eight. So I'm just going to write chicken pesto pasta. There we go. It's really, really good. Really, really easy. And then the next one is going to be um, gnocchi. So this is the gnocchi. It'll be um, the ricotta gnocchi, and I do it in the burnt butter sauce, which is really delicious. It's so easy. Now, we, with these, we'll have a green salad to round it out. Um, pasta bake is next. 
you know what pasta bake is hmm there's no recipe for pasta bake it is a clean out the fridge meal um spag bowl which is actually a firm family favorite we love spag bowl and i have one son who would eat it it and pizza he'd alternate them every night if he could and lastly i've got the sour cream pasta bake now guys this recipe is in the pasta um, recipe file oh my gosh it is so good so so good all right moving on to wednesday and oh good tomorrow night easy night cream cheese patties and we've got visitors for dinner tomorrow night so that's good and i have um cream cheese in the freezer from when i got it on sale at um nqr when it's just a philly cream cheese is you know two dollars a, a a block i will buy a dozen blocks and put it in the freezer if it's going into something baking cooking cream cheese patties or whatever it is fine and it goes so well in the mashed potatoes it just perks them up beautifully then we've got corned beef which is coming from the freezer now corned beef is on sale this week at australian butchers for um melbourne cheap skaters what are we going to have with it what did i say i was going to have with it mash and veggies okay And then we've got chicken pie and veggies. And that's going to work because over here, I don't know if you can see, over here we've got the roast chicken. So the leftovers will be going into the chicken pie. I have to tip it back on an angle so I can. And then the bones will go to stock. Um, honey mustard. Oh, yum. Honey mustard toasted sandwiches honey mustard beef again we've got the beef here and there toasties so so good and a really nice way to fill tummies but stretch a little bit of meat a long long way and lastly for the last wednesday of the month we've got vegetable masaka now the recipe again is in the recipe file it is good this is they are all double up dinners the pastas are all double up dinners so so easy cook once eat twice put one in the freezer for the next month you're only cooking every second month if you do that isn't that a bit of a blast thursday's always pizza in our house and we have a um, I have a video coming up about how we make the pizza bases from scratch and what we put on top of them. Um, and I have a note on my fridge that for August I need to make um, 16 pizza bases to get us through the month because we will have visitors on some of those nights. So two pizzas just won't cut it. Okay, we'll move on to the Fridays. And Friday is always an easy meal. It's the end of the week. I am tired. I usually have a busy day on a Friday preparing for the weekend and walking out if we have visitors or whatever. So it's always easy. And it's soup and crumpets. And you know what? Sometimes the crumpets are homemade. Sometimes I buy them depends on how i feel and what's going on in my world next week we've got fish gems which are potato gems or potato jewels whatever you call them and coleslaw and i do not know why but it is tradition with us to have fish gems and coleslaw that is the fish meal for our family then we've got um tuna casserole another double up dinner and salad we're getting to the end of winter we're all starting to crave that salad aren't we 
and then on the 25th it's Italian vegetarian meatballs now guys this is a recipe I have shared this I'm sure I've shared the recipe plenty of times it is a fantastic dish it is so so good you can have it over spaghetti you can have it over noodles like um, spirals or something you can have it with mash you can have it with rice but it's cheap it's easy and it tastes great and the recipe is in the recipe file saturdays saturdays again they're easy meals because we've usually had a big lunch so we've got um, hot roast beef hot roast beef and gravy on rolls if I've got rolls or toast or focaccias or whatever is pizza bases, whatever is in the freezer for that. Um, the next week is a freezer meal. Have you liked, if you've been following me for a while, have you liked how I've actually been deliberately putting freezer meals on the meal plan? Because so often we'll double up. Or we'll have leftovers and put them into the freezer for a freezer meal. But you know what? What happens? Ah, what happens? We forget, don't we, that there's a, you can't see that, sorry guys, um, that they're there and we don't use them. So that's a bit sad. So I this year I deliberately put freezer meals into the meal plan so we would know to eat a freezer meal and they're really good because everyone gets to choose what they like it's a night off cooking everyone gets to choose what they like next saturday is muffin surprise another family favorite and the surprise is it is never the same and then we've got stuffed potatoes which works out really really well because potatoes the last few weeks have been quite inexpensive Okay, now I am going to move you over a bit just so that I can write because all we've got left now are the Mondays for the month and the meal plan is done. How, how easy is this? It is so simple. So we've got uh, sweet and sour chicken on the 7th. Yum. Number two, number one son will be happy because he was asking for that the other day and rice <sighs> rice is getting a bit um, expensive isn't it um, then we've got meatloaf yum another double up at least double up and veggies you've got to have meatloaf with mash and veggies don't you Sausages with onion gravy. I don't put sausages on very often because not everyone in our family likes them, but occasionally they're just the thing. And down here, see up here for on the 9th, I've got corned beef on the menu. Down here, I'm going to do corned beef hash with the leftover corned beef. Now, I don't know if it's a traditional corned beef hash. I would not have a clue because I just um, dice it all up and I put some onion in and I will dice up some carrot. If we've got parsnip or turnip, I will put that in, diced up really, really small. Um, leftover mashed potato because every time we have mash, if there's a spoonful left, it goes into a container in the fridge. I use it for things like this corned beef hash mix it all up give it a taste test it might need some pepper or it might need some garlic or it might need some herbs of some kind and then i just fry it all up in a little bit of oil and butter and i put the oil in to stop the butter from burning i like the flavor of the butter but the oil just stops the butter from burning fry it all up so it's crispy like pancakes pretty much and that's 
how I do corned beef hash. No idea if that's what it's meant to be. Would not have a clue. But that's it. That's our meal plan for August. Done. And it's really simple because before the um, month has even started, I've done at least 12 with the roasts are always the same. Thursday is always pizza and Tuesday is always a pasta dish of some kind. You don't have to swap it up. For a long, long time when my kids were little, every Tuesday was spag bowl. That's what they liked. That's what they ate. And it was easy for this mother to do a batch of spag bowl for my regular size family and dish it up and I could have dinner on the table in under 30 minutes. In fact, under 20 minutes because as long as it took the pasta to cook, I could get the sauce made. The meat brown, the onion in, the tomatoes in, the tomato soup in, the garlic in, the cheese grated, dinner was done. So pasta was always on a Tuesday. I think I've told you once before, it was because Wayne had um, tech on a Tuesday night, so he'd come flying in and he had like 20 minutes at home before he had to leave, flying in from work. And while he was getting changed, I would dish up his dinner. He'd wolf it down and fly out the door again. So that's why we had pasta, because I could make it ahead, keep it warm, and it worked for him. And it's just stuck. So let's see, 30... 32 years we've been having pasta on a Tuesday. That's a long time, isn't it? Anyway, let's get me back so I can see you. And you're not talking to nobody. Because <laughs> that's a bit of a bummer, isn't it, when you've got to talk to nobody. Okay, that's the meal plan for August. It's easy. It's quick. It's what we do. It works for us and it helps us... Um, stick to our budget I can't ask for anything more you know I don't do there's nothing particularly fancy there I'm pretty sure that none of those meals would ever make it to MasterChef or MKR or whatever but you know what it's what we like it's what we eat and it's what we can afford and it's all good food all made from ingredients there's nothing, apart from the pastry and the um, pasta, if you want to call pasta a convenient thing, maybe the crumpets, if we do crumpets on Friday night, they're all ingredients and it's all made from scratch in my kitchen at home. So it's easy and it's healthy. I know that a lot of people um, think my meal plans are terrible because, you know, we have a roast every Sunday. We have pizza every Thursday. Shock, horror. How could we possibly have pizza every Thursday? You know what? It's good pizza. It's good pizza. And the more I'm getting into sourdough, I'll be practicing sourdough pizza bases soon. So, and we put our toppings on them it cleans out the fridge really really easy that's how i do my meal plan i'm actually um loving having it on the fridge because it stops everyone asking me a dozen times a day what's for dinner or what's coming up and it's just stopped the grumbles and the oh, i'm not that again do we have to not that again even though Three of the nights every week are repeated the next week. And that just makes my mother heart sing. I know my kids are adults now, um, but I still like to serve up meals. If I'm putting time and effort into serving up a meal, I want it to be one that everyone enjoys. So that's our August meal plan. Don't forget that Cheapskates Club members can log in to get the full meal plan printable, as well as 210 other meal plans. If you're sure to find ideas to boost your meal planning and to help you stay on budget. I'm so happy you joined me on this meal plan update. If you like this video, could you please help us out and give us a thumbs up? 
And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, we would be honoured if you click that subscribe button and then the little bell so that we can notify you every time we upload a video or go live. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll be back very soon with another Cheapskates Club video to help you live debt free, cashed up and laughing. But until then, happy cheapskating, folks.